Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of What the Smut Book Reviews. My name is Candace, and I'm your congenial and sometimes quite aggressive host. Uh, I will be reviewing for you guys today a much anticipated novel. Is it? I mean, the novel was anticipated. Is the review anticipated? Is it? Mm, I don't know. Um, I have been hinting at doing a review for J.R. Ward novel for the last couple of videos. If you guys follow me on uh, Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, you will have seen that I got a package in the mail. And it contained like eight J.R. Ward novels. Um, all of them from, of course, her much loved series, the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. Yay! Cue, like, audience, like, <sighs> yay! Uh, so today, I will be reviewing for you guys this lovely thing right here. Uh, this is J.R. Ward's first in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. It is called Dark Lover. Um, Dark level. <laughs> um, this book, first of all, before I get ahead of myself, thank you so much for joining me for another video. I really appreciate you guys being here. If this is your first time tuning in, I apologize in advance for what you're about to see. If you are um, a seasoned member or a seasoned subscriber, if you will, um, there is no apology necessary because you knew what you were getting yourself into. So, you came back for more. Thank you for coming back for more. Um, so, this book has 416 pages. Uh, it is, like I said, the first book in her Black Dagger Brotherhood series, which has quite a few books. And I think there's actually a spinoff series, uh, like Black Dagger Legacies or something like that. Um, I am a little bit behind in uh, the Black Dagger Brotherhood series, so please don't at me because I have no excuse. It's just called Life. Like, I have a three-year-old and she takes up all my time and... The second I sit down to read anything, she's just like, mom, 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 mom. Have you guys ever seen that like episode of Family Guy? I'm just, I'm just scratching, so don't, I'm not picking my nose. Uh, that episode of Family Guy where Stewie like becomes enamored with Lois as opposed to always trying to kill her. And he's just like, mom, mom, mommy, mommy, <laughs> mama. <laughs> That's Charlotte. All day. 24 hours a day. So, um, unfortunately, I am a few books behind. I'm going to try and catch up on that series, but there's only one of me and only so many hours in the day. And it is what it is. So, <laughs> um, there have, it looks like there has been a revamped cover or when this went mass market paperback, there is a different cover other than this one. And I will link it for you guys or show it to you guys up here. Um, this book is currently available to buy for Kindle and Nook for the lovely price of only $2.99. Uh, you can get the mass market paperback for, it looks like $7.77, it's a weird number, um, on Amazon. And you can buy this book used from eBay for about $4 with free shipping. So, what's stopping you? Do it. Okay. Um, so I will read you guys the blurb for this, but uh, J.R. Ward's Black Dagger Brotherhood series was one of the first series that I picked up that fell into the genre of paranormal romance. Um, along with uh, Cressley Cole's Immortals After Dark series, it was probably one of the first that I picked up that had to do with like vampires or werewolves or magic-y fantasy related stuff. Um, and I was hooked from the first book, so I have really no complaints about that. Um, each book progressively gets better, uh, at least up to the point where I kind of fell off reading them. Um, like I said, I am going to get back into reading them. Hopefully I'll be able to um, 
you know, just breeze through. But I, at this, ah, it's so funny because I used to be the type that I would be able to read a, a full length, like four or 500 page novel in like two days. And now I'm lucky if I can finish a book every like two weeks. <laughs> Um, if it's something that I'm like super into, if it's one of my authors that I've read their entire catalog or that I'm, I'm like completely obsessed with, like Jenna Showalter, Cressley Cole, Nor Roberts, like I, I will probably try and push my way through the book and like carve out as many spare minutes as I can throughout the day just to like, cause I'm fiending for it, you know? Um, but for the most part, like, it still takes me, like, two weeks. A week and a half, two weeks to read a full-length novel. Um, but, like I said, it is what it is, and what can you do? That's life. Um, so, for this particular book, uh, I will read you guys the blurb, and then we can just kind of break it down and discuss it a little bit, and then I'll give you guys my rating, and hopefully you will uh, be so inclined as to go out and purchase the book so that you can kick off the Black Dagger Brotherhood series and you guys can get as immersed into the world as I was and will be again, knock on wood. Um, so the blurb for this book uh, says, the only purebred vampire left on the planet, Wrath has a score to settle with the slayers who murdered his parents centuries ago. But when one of his most trusted fighters is killed, Orphaning a half-breed daughter, unaware of her heritage or her fate, Wrath must usher the beautiful female into the world of the undead. I think you can tell where this is going. Like, he's going to be hard up for her, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know. Uh, wrapped by a restlessness in her body that wasn't there before, Beth Randall is helpless against a dangerously sexy man who comes to her at night with shadows in his eyes. His tales of brotherhood and blood frighten her but his touch ignites a dawning hunger that threatens to consume them both. So essentially, just like with many other um, vampire romance series, is, 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 uh, you do have, uh, you know, a core group of vampires who are in an ongoing and constant battle with a group of either humans or other type creatures that are out to eradicate the world of vampires. Like it's been since the dawn of time, since Dracula, like you have vampire and you have slayer, right? So in this particular series, um, Wrath, who is the main male um, protagonist or hero, if what you will, um, is the last pure breed vampire and he leads um, the Black Dagger Brotherhood, um, or they just refer to it as the Brotherhood. He basically leads this Brotherhood to fight the Lessening Society, is what they're called, which is just a sect of um, slayers who are hellbent on, you know, taking them out. Um, the the Normally, in these situations, like, you would root for the slayers. You would not root for the vampires because, you know, mythically vampires are like terrible blood-sucking fiends of the night and whatever and you know like you have Buffy who's like you know I'm a slayer and I'm like um where the fuck is my heart yeah <laughs> uh but uh the lessening society is like yuck like just corrupt gross you know, they like when they're turned, they turn like pale and their hair gets like yellow and like it's just yuck. Okay. So nobody is rooting for them. We love the vampires. We're rooting for the vampires, right? I know. Um, so you have Wrath, who is the, the last, the last real, real legit vampire. And then you have his, uh, comrade in arms. I think his name was Darius. I think, um, and he had an kind of like an illegitimate daughter, but he basically cavorted with a human who then gave birth to a girl child. And that girl has been uh, raised as a human. She has no idea that she's half vampire or whatever. And she's getting ready to come of age 
when she's going to click into her immortality and she's going to realize she's a vampire and it will also subsequently start up what um is like her like first initial like heat cycle because like you hear that a lot in like werewolf novels where it's like you know like they go into heat and they get like super sexual and whatever like once a year so it's something similar in in these books um and it's gonna fall like during that time I think it's they refer to it as like their like their kneading cycle or something like that and during that time they need to get some you know what I mean or you're just gonna be miserable like you know so uh obviously out of loyalty to Darius Wrath does not want her to go through that alone but he's torn because you know that's his bro's daughter and you know so you get it so there's that happening and then there's like subsequent fighting with the lessening society and there's that happening and you know so uh each a lot of the vampires do have their own books there are a lot of books in this series um wrath is the type so he has there's like a lot of backstory with wrath his parents were killed when he was very young and subsequently he is uh going blind uh and that's causing problems with like you know you're, you've got like people other other vampires who are not in the brotherhood but who want to come for him like they're trying to take his throne and that's going on and you know like he doesn't want to lose his sight the books are really well written they are easy to follow you don't have to worry about them being too complicated you don't have to worry about the writing being too choppy um which i find um in some books like if it's not a certain type of writing style i have a hard time not following the book but a hard time getting sucked into the book you know what i mean like if it's not if the book is not well written it's not gonna grab me and I'm going to try and like force my way through it just for the sake of finishing it but it's not gonna be a book that I'm gonna continue with the series or a book that I'm gonna rant and rave about or recommend to other people. Um, this this book and the subsequent books in the series do pull you in. You do get attached to all of the characters. You get attached to all of the other brothers in the brotherhood um, and you want to keep reading to find out like what's going to happen and to, will such and such get their own book and will it, you know um there are a lot of books out uh for this series already so if this is your first time hearing about this series and you want to pick it up it's not like you're going to read this book and have to wait a year for the next one in the in the series there are a lot uh so you, you really can't go wrong for four dollars used on ebay plus free shipping i would recommend picking up the book i would recommend reading um into the series and just see if you like it i mean i personally i i really enjoyed it i loved the books i was there was a good chunk of time where i was super obsessed with them um and like i said hopefully once again i'll get back into that headspace and i'll once i start like go delving back into the series i'll i'll get back there again but um i really thank you guys for joining me for the rating for this book i'm gonna give it an eight and a half um, because it was the first book in the series and it does introduce the series, there may be later books where I was either just found myself more attached to a particular character or, um, you know, I found the plot to be more like gripping and so that book may get higher rating. But for this particular book, I will give it an eight and a half out of ten. Um, I will recommend that you guys pick it up and see if you like it, see if you like the series. I really thank you guys so much for joining me for another video. If you like me and you like my channel, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up on this video and hit the bell so that you get notifications when I upload a new video. You will also get like sneak peeks to upcoming videos if you join me in my uh, members only Facebook group as well as my Instagram and Twitter page, which I will link in the description box below. I'll also put a little banner here at the bottom right now that you're seeing um, that you can uh, follow me on any of those other social media platforms if you would like. 
Uh, I thank you guys again for joining me and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Bye. <laughs> Stop. Bloopers. The bloopers. Oh, here come the bloopers. Here come the bloopers. And I'm clashing with the background. Because honestly, why wouldn't I be? Hey y'all, what's up y'all? Oh my god, nope, absolutely not with the fucking hair. Stop. Nope. Thought about tucking, and I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm, no. <laughs> no boo-boo, no. <laughs> um, 18 minutes. 18 minutes. I feel like I get flustered and then I say things that are completely inaccurate to the book and then I think to myself after I've clicked off or like halfway through like 20 minutes after I said that I'm like that didn't fucking happen in the book. Why did I say that? Like that's not accurate. Why did I say that? These people are gonna think I'm like what? they're gonna be like this bitch should not read that book. That's completely wrong. But I do that because I get nervous. I'm so tired. <sighs> and my makeup looks terrible. My eyes are watering per the huge. Fuck you, body. Pum pum pum. terrible posture most of the time you guys don't know that because you don't know me IRL but I have terrible posture most of the time and I try and like sit up straight in these videos and it's like <laughs> hurts my back so I'm just gonna slump I'm just gonna slump I'll be back here if you need me if you hear any gurgling it's my stomach I ate a bunch of eggs and bacon and stuff for breakfast. Alright, I gotta get up or I won't be able to get up. <laughs>